Singular focus as they got off the team bus, looking to lock down a valuable win on the road. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge along the sideline. Here are the five for the Raptors. Big men in the four form, it's Siakam and Pirtle. OG Ananobi is out there with Dennis Schroeder, and it's Barnes in at the small forward position. And for the Hawks, in at small and power forward, it's Hunter and Bay. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. And it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Greg, both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina it'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long and so off the tip it's Toronto now here's Schroeder pass to Ananobi over Murray Ananobi no good and so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Atlanta Here's the three. It's good from long range. The percentages from range aren't there yet for Murray, but his confidence never seems to waver. If we look at the Raptors, Smitty, it has not been easy replicating the success they had back in 2019. Yeah, Toronto's had a bit of a roller coaster ride since then. They've had some good seasons, but the consistency hasn't been there for them. And here's Atlanta. It's a three-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. And missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one. Especially on the road. Each miss fired up that crowd even more. Steve, thinking back to the 2018 draft, Atlanta made a trade that day with major ramifications. Kevin, yes, they did. At the core of it, it was young for Doncic. It might have been easy to second guess at first, but Young has had an enormous impact on the Hawks. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Eight playoff appearances, Steve, in the last 10 years. Just seems like a matter of time before the Raptors catch fire again. You know, Kevin, every team is one or two acquisitions away. They may just get one of these guys and spark a deep playoff run. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. Now here's Barnes. And the pass to Siakam. Rocket six. Over Hunter. Shots good by Siakam. Can beat you from mid-range as well. Siakam adding more nuances to his game every year. Murray, the pass to Bay. Ananobi against Murray. Shoots over Ananobi. Murray, no good. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Nice shot by Pirtle. Hung around, waited for his moment. Jakob Pertl in the right place at the right time. Murray surveying the D. Pass to Young. Beyond the arc. Hands it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Schroeder outside. Pass to Ananobel. 127 left here in the first quarter. Back to Pirtle. Lays it up and banks it in. Pirtle's got his second bucket. 
and you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. And with the move to positionless basketball, wing players with the size and strength of OG Ananobi tremendously in demand. You need a guy who can hang with all the superstar wings defensively. And OG has a better shot than most. Atlanta making some changes. Okongwu's checked in for Clint Capella. Griffin comes in for Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. A new group in now for the Raptors. Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Jakob Pertl. Achua comes in for Pascal Siakam. Daniels is checked in for Barnes. And Trent subbed in for OG Ananobi. Now here's Schroeder following the miss shot by Bogdan Bogdanovich. Schroeder against Young. And here's Trent outside. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Atlanta's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. And Young, here we go. Here's Bay. It's hauled in by Achua. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing by two. It's good. Gary Trent Jr., six foot five and solid. Muscling his way through. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Now here's Bay, covered by Achua. Here's Griffin. Good defensive work there by Young. Bogdanovich against Trent. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Tie game in Atlanta. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And what do you guys think about the Hawks here in this one? Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. Some people might feel they got some hometown calls, but when your team is pushing the action, you often get the benefit of the doubt. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Down in the block, it's Okonwu and Capella. Murray out there with Matthews. And it's Hunter in it to three. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Now here's Barnes. No scoring in this one. Hey, Steve, when we look at Scotty Barnes, what excites you about his play? I think for me, Kevin, it's just him improving. He can pretty much do everything well already. He's still got so much time to keep growing. So they now lead by one. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. You know, we, we get spoiled with all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar, the jump shot has to become a weapon. The confidence of Scotty Barnes' game is pretty inspiring. Even against savvy veteran opponents, he believes in his own abilities, and he gets it done. Now, here's Hunter. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14.5 points a game. Got a piece of it, and he gets it back. Tries it again, and Capella with a nice bucket inside. Capella's got his first points in this one. It's a joy to watch how active Capella is on offense, fighting for the boards and saving that play. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. 
I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses will often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Here's Hunter after the Raptors pick up two. Over Siakam. Here's Capella. And the dunk by Capella. An intimidator himself. Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Here's Toronto. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Now, here's Siakam. His last outing, he had 18 points. Barnes down low. He's covered by Matthews. The Hawks have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. And, Smitty, here we have Atlanta consistently knocking on the door in a crowded Eastern Conference. You know, Kevin, they have added talent. Unfortunately, so has the rest of the conference. But Atlanta's still young, and they have room to grow. For Toronto, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Pass to Coloco. Back to Barnes. Passes it to Ananope. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Capella. And now the fast break. Matthews with the ball. Hunter no good. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. Siakam finds Barnes. Over Matthews. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Coloco's got the game tied up here for the Raptors. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Murray against Trent. 11 feet away. Here's Capella. Oh, that's blocked. It's nine seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. When it comes to generating offense, you like how OG picks his spots. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. That's good for Mananobi. When you talk about OG Ananobi, here is a guy who gets better every season, works hard on his game. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. And then for Toronto, Achua, he's checked in for Siakam. McDaniels comes in for Barnes, and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Trent. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Hawks trail it. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Okongwu. As a point guard, Trey Young knows his guys depend on him to find them, especially when uncovered. On the wing, Ananobi. Ready by Bogdanovich. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The Hawks on top, up by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and be solid defensively no no magic it's a pretty simple game right coach thanks for your time back to you kevin thanks so much dave for the great interview don't go away folks we'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this the 2k sports halftime show hey again everybody i'm ernie johnson Shaq is here kenny's here you're watching the nba halftime show on 2k sports a competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, let's start with you. 
What do you think about the Hawks? I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if the rebound and dominance can extend into the second half. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. I like how they're working the ball now low and finding easy looks. Uh, they may be tempted to switch things up in the second half, but I say stick with it. Force the other team to adjust to the way you play. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. The Hawks leading. So the Raptors five right now. Barnes and Siakam will slot in at the small and power forward. Ananobi out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Pirtle in at the center. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, there was quite a bit of shakeup in the Hawks front office last season amid rumors of discord. DeJounte Murray said, there's a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, winning takes care of it all. So we need to control what we can control, continue to come together as brothers, and try to go out and win basketball games. Kevin, back to you. All right, that's all they can do. David, thanks. And one of the great rebounders in this league, Clint Capella, plays that role as well as anyone. Greg, on a per-minute basis, few players are better. Sharp anticipation, works at it, and many of his points come from the offensive glass. Capella dishes to Hunter. Good D by Ananobi. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. The pass to Siakam. The second chance effort. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Bain. Here's Hunter. The second effort. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. That one's in there. The Hawks lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Pirtle. Well, you need to start somewhere. After four straight misses this half, let's see if this gets them going. Now, here is Young. Providing around 26 and a half points a game rarely has an off night. People worried about Trey Young's size entering the lead. Could he stand the punishment? He has answered that question. And Trey Young may have taken it personally that he was drafted fifth in that stacked 2018 draft. And G.A., that draft was full of superstars. But you're right. He's played the most NBA games out of the top five picks in that draft. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okong Wu's checked in for Clint Capella. And Marcelli Matthews subbed in for Hunter. And free throw good from Young. I respect the resolve of Trey Young. When the game gets tough, he stays strong. When the defense goes at him, he comes back at them. He doesn't back off. Now here's Schroeder, still scoreless. And Okongwu gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Griffin's checked in for the Hawks. And Toronto also making a switch. McDaniels checked in. One fifty three left in the third quarter. Here's Trent. Good work defensively by Bain. The Hawks leading by four. Matthews with it. And Boucher sends it back. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. The Hawks making a switch here. Bogdanovich is checked in. The Raptors also with a sub. Achua, he's checked in for Thaddeus Young. Wow. 
Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Schroeder against Young, and he gets it to go. Young's got eight points. If you got Trey Young on your side, chances are you're going to win the mid-range battle. Here's Trent. Second shot opportunity. Can't capitalize inside. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Here's Young. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Young's got the lead up to eight now for Atlanta. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. There's Schroeder. Good defensive work there by Young. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Griffin with it. Working on McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. The shot will not fall. Raptors trail by eight. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Trent outside. They could use a bucket. Can't connect. And we've watched three so far in this one. Hawks lead by eight. And we'll be back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Eight-point game. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Hunter is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Okongwu in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the Hawks' five. And a quick look at how Atlanta's schedule shaping up. On Tuesday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against the Spurs in San Antonio. In that matchup against the Bucks, you know they want to come out and make a big statement in that one. It won't be easy, but anything can happen. That's good from Barnes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. He hits both from the strike. The Hawks leading by six. Outside Bogdanovich. He kicks it to Hunter. Over Siakam. And there's Hunter on the assist from Bogdanovich. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Barnes. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Outside Bogdanovich. Young outside. Shoots over Pirtle. Again the Hawks score. When you have a slick ball handler like Trey Young, you can run pick and roll as much as you like. Barnes against Bogdanovich. To the right side. Here's Siakam. And the shot goes in. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him. 
and live with the results. Pass to Capella. Here's Young. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Built to score. Trey Young has been on one tonight. Here's Siakam. He gets it in there. And something we don't see nearly as much as we used to. The finger roll. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Now, here is Young. And stolen by Barnes. Siakam outside. 153 left in the fourth quarter. From the baseline. Rebound Atlanta. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. Murray outside. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Murray's got the lead up to 10 now for the Hawks. Given Murray's slight frame, you think physical defense would bother him more. It doesn't. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by 10. 131 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Trey Young. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovich was going over with his team. He said to his guys, we need to push the pace more. Come on, guys, we're at our best when we're attacking in transition. Energy up now. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Now here's Bay. Hunter, the pass to Murray. Shot clock at five. Shoots. They get it back. Capella. No good. Shot missing. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Raptors. Trailing by 10. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by Schroeder. There's a good example of Siakam's versatility on that floater. Young passes to Capella. Barnes against Hunter. Back to Capella. Over to the wing. Here's Murray. Wide open shot is on the money. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think they 
built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. Um, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. See you next time.